Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I want to pour in pink. So I'm preparing my resin and I'm using the Transparente resin from Resin Pro. And this is a thinner viscosity or low viscosity resin. And I have this resin new. I already used it for the Larima effect and also for my bowl where I used the dragon flower technique. So I thought I would test again and see how I <clears throat> get on with this resin. I'm a little bit sorry about my voice, but at the moment, I don't know. I have a lot of troubles with hay fever. So my first color here is the white and it's the angel white from Lures, which I received from Laura's Art Corner. And I'm just mixing it, not too opaque, just a little bit more on the transparent transparent side. So and now I'm taking the pink and the pink is um, a write and draw ink so a pen ink from Octopus and I'm using here the pink owl and it's a really bright pink and I thought neon is still I think quite popular and um, it has a neon sheen to it. And into my white, I'm also adding a little bit of the baby's breath, the mica from Laura's Art Corner, which gives a little bit a silver sheen to it. <clears throat> yeah, and I'm making sure that I stir it well, very, very well. So now I'm taking my transparent resin and I put some drops of the write and draw ink into this resin and I make a little nice transparent pink tone. And now I'm having here one of my old time favorite molds and it's a Kintsugi mold. It's a square shape and I really like this form a lot. <clears throat> so what I thought doing, I wanted to try if I can achieve a sort of web effect but of course the Transparente um, resin works a little bit different than the Art Pro resin. This is what I already noticed while pouring. And then I thought, I just, I just do something and see what will happen. So you saw I placed first, now you see it again. The darker pink color on the edges on top the white. And then I'm just filling up my mold with the lighter color or the lighter pink. And I'm doing this for all the four coasters. And at that moment, I just didn't have any idea if I will achieve any effects or what will be the outcome. So now again, the white on top of my darker pink. The only thing I wanted, um, I knew that I wanted to have a very summer-like um, coaster set. And I think this color is awesome for this. So this is my pour done. I'm just making sure that I take care of some bits because I had a little bit of un unmixed mica on top of my white and now I'm just pouring a little bit of my white mix again <clears throat> around the edges. And this is my white now done. <laughs> and. I think I needed to just mix a little bit more white. You see that I'm really struggling to get everything out of the cup. So, but first I'm now taking the heat gun. I'm making sure that I um, activate a little bit the edges so that the resin can move. And I'm mixing a little bit more <clears throat> of the white because I still had some resin left because I always uh, mix up a little bit more just to test a few things or to make a bloom, a 3D bloom or whatsoever. So 
I mixed a little bit more white and I'm now pouring it along the edges and I'm just making sure I will fill up my mold. It looks a little bit chaotic, I have to admit. <laughs> and I'm, I'm really curious what patterns is gonna come out of this if the center stays clear. Uh, I had no idea to this point because I, I was not used to this resin. Only for certain um, effects, but not just to play around and well. I also need to mix my glitter mix and um, the glitter I used is the pink dazzle. It's a chunky glitter from Laura's Art Corner and it's, it's very nice. You will see it in a second. And I just made sure that I yeah, activate a little bit more with the heat gun so that the white can really move into the center. So um, I let it run a little bit, the video. I don't know if you can already see changes. I didn't speed it up too much, so I hope you don't mind. If it's taking too long, just fast forward. I have no problem with this. Meanwhile, you see my shadow. I'm really mixing my glitter, so I can put it into the center in a bit. But resin always fascinates me. The way it's pulling to the center, it makes cells. It, yeah. I mean, on that side, it almost looks like um, it it creates nice cells from from the pouring side. So I'm really curious if it's going to move also on the back side and what effect I can get. Will it be a crackle effect? It will certainly not be a web effect. There I was already sure. But um, now I'm putting the glitter into the center and I need to hurry up because um, it's spreading. You see it. It's really exploding when you just put it. Um, the glitter on top of your resin without mixing it with resin before so but I always love it somehow I love it and I hate it when it's exploding because it's so amazing to see so you can call me a little bit crazy in that term but anyway this is now my pour done and I can take you down for a close-up and this is around about 20 minutes after the pouring and I really love this pink. I'm normally not a pinky girl, but um, this color is so bright. These um, write and draw, draw rings, uh, inks, they are fantastic. They are just... But anyway, next day, time for demolding. <laughs> and I'm really curious because I didn't know what to expect. Will there be effects? That's the big question. But I love how how white uh, how light the white is on top of of the pink. It almost looks like um, like a wave. <laughs> so and look at that. It looks a little bit puffy on that side, I think, and I think the effect is really beautiful. Um, the center where the glitter is is clear, but I don't mind actually, because it gives it, again, a little bit more depth. That's what I'm thinking. And I like the wispiness at the edges. You see it there. And then the sort of crackle effect. You can all, almost call it like a crackle flower. I really love it. I must really admit, I was surprised, positively surprised, because I didn't expect anything from them. So, and this is now the final result. I only took a needle bottle. I mixed some um, dark, sort of dark pink color and I just drew the edges. And there you see, and I'm very happy with the outcome. The Kintsugi lines are beautiful. So I hope you liked the video and thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.